Okay, here we go. Time for another unboxing. This time it's a graphics card. It's the EVGA GeForce GTX 780 Superclock version. Capable of three-way SLI. Don't think I'll need that because I've already got a GTX 480. It's about four years old now, which I've been very pleased with. I'm buying this one, not for games, but for CUDA and video editing, so I hope I made the right choice. I think I have. I think this is probably the best performance for price to performance ratio that there is out there at the moment. And I've also gone for the uh, their own cooler rather than the Vapor Chamber Titan type cooler because uh, it seems to run a little bit cooler, so I could even overclock it a little bit more. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. So. what else we get in there. No games I don't think with this one. It's a little close up there anyone? Oh that's the wrong language anyway. A different language here. What's that say? This requires 600 watts or greater power supply with a minimum of 42 amps. One 8 pin, 8 pin PCI Express power connector or two available 6-pin PCI Express power connectors and one 6-pin PCI Express power connector or two available hard disk power connectors. I don't know though, I don't, I'm not sure this is going to use up that much more power than the, uh, the 480. Please note if your product is not working properly, do not return to the store. I think EVGA are a very good company. They've, they've got a really good reputation for looking after their customers. That's another reason to buy a, an EVGA version. What's this? Oh. There's a better look at the poster. Don't think I'll be putting that on my wall somehow. But you know, there we are. I'd rather have a game. I want to put a game in with it. That'd be much more exciting. But as I said, I don't use mine for games. I use it mainly for uh, video editing. But I do play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and I will be buying the new one when it comes out next year. So, uh, oh, and I do a little bit of Guild Wars, but I haven't done that for a long time now. Mm, okay. What else have we got here? Oh, what's this? That's a bit more exciting, isn't it? Enthusiast built. Some nice stickers. Always like a sticker. And drivers, but I guess I'll go on the internet and get the latest ones anyway. Warning about power. It's a cutting edge graphics card. Make sure your bios are up to date. Well, I've got a Sabretooth, uh, I think it's a Z77. And that's another reason for buying it, because it's a PCI 3, and I've, I've only got a PCI 2 card, so it'd be very interesting to see um, how much better this card performs than the one that I already have. Looks like just simple instructions on how to, uh, how to plug it in. Not really very exciting, is it? There we are. One side. to SLI, problems, what have you. And okay, so that's a, that's a double to single in case you haven't got the right adapter. Actually it's got a nice um, covering on the on the wires. I don't know if you can see it. Let's put a light on a moment. Let's just make sure I've got this. <clears throat> well, 
sweeten it. Yeah, I like the little threaded uh, cover, that's nice. Won't be using that though, so I've got a, a power supply that will do the trick. So various adapters. I mean, who would use that at this day and age? DVI to, uh, is that the old analog? Who would know? I won't be using that. And here we are, here is the card itself. What's that there? Oh right, well, that's that's quite a nice looking little badge. It's quite it's quite thick. That's a lovely thing to put on uh, your computer. Really nice. Feels quite heavy. Was that a few extra bits on the back there? Packaged in Germany. Some really nice looking... Um, I wonder if these probably are vapour chamber um, heat pipes. Yes, it looks the business. We've got a protective uh, film. Apparently these fans go on for 10 years or something I've been reading about. Looks very nice. So, two DVIs. HDMI there. Too sure what that one is. No, it's an HDMI. I just use the DVIs. I've got a couple of screens and that's what I normally use. And there's where you put your power connectors in. And that's the SLI cover. Oh, it's a nice rubberized cover. Feels nice. So there we are. I think I might just carry on with this video and just um show it being put in place as well. So well you've been a really good graphics card, I've been really pleased with it. Four good years. No problems whatsoever. Been a really good card so tack. GTX 480. I'm using an i7-2600K uh, and I've overclocked that. It's another gig higher now, so it's running at about 4.23 gigs, something like that, and it's completely stable on this air cooler here. Running really well. Oh yeah, there's a little tab, isn't there? Let's see if I can find it. Oh. Right down in there. Oh goodness, that's hard to reach. Oh, I could do with a smaller finger here to help me out. There's my Zotac GTX 480. The one fan there, which blows through. 
Now I've heard a lot of people saying this new card they don't like the fact that the fans blow all over but for me it's ideal because I've just got a test bench. <clears throat> so let's just see size wise against the uh, this one. It feels sort of similar weight, very similar. In fact, if anything, I think it's a little bit smaller than the new card. A little bit smaller. So there is some blowing out the back. Obviously, there's some blowing which would go into the case. It might not be ideal for uh, for some builds. If you've got a small uh, a small box and you just manage to fit it in. But these days a lot of them have uh, fans on the top and fans all over the place, so I'm sure it won't be that bad. Right, so. as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I've just noticed something. <laughs> oh dear, what a wally. That just shows how nicely prepared this card is, doesn't it? Nicely protected. What oh, Right, let's try again. Gentle at first. Oh, that went in very easily. Okay. Take these covers off. These got very, very hot on the other graphics card. So it's kicking out at about 90 centigrade. And these were nearly too hot to hold on the old card. So it'd be interesting to see if there's a, a heat difference when it really gets processing some uh, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro stuff when I get working on a new YouTube video. In fact, the first video that I will work with will be this one. There we are. All nicely in, seems fine. Turn the power on, and let's give it a start up. The fans are going, they've stopped, and off to go.
Well, that seems a lot quieter so far. Obviously, it's cold. There's... Oh, there's quite a, there's quite a bit of air coming out the top here. Yeah, quite a bit. Not much coming out the bottom there. Oh, you put your finger in the bloody fan then. Yeah, quite a lot coming out the top. So there we are. Get my head out the way so you can see. There we are. So, new graphics card. Hopefully quicker editing for me. Because some rendering, especially edge feathering, does take quite a while to uh, render. But nothing like what it used to. I mean, I used to put it on overnight to render some of my videos and come back the next morning and it'd still be going. So now these days it's about half an hour. Or an hour if it's something really, really complicated. Anyway, there we are. So that's the initial unboxing and putting into my uh, Sabretooth motherboard of the GTX 780 Supercocked. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Bye for now.